What is Git? Let's take an example to understand the purpose of Git. As every tool available in the market serves a specific function. Meet John, a diligent individual who is currently engaged in a project on his local machine. He has completed several milestones of the project, and at some point, his client requested to showcase the last milestone of the project to his investors. Unfortunately, John doesn't keep backups of his project milestones or previous versions. Now, John is in trouble. What if John wants to compare and evaluate his current progress against his prior work? He'll find himself in even more trouble as he lacks previous versions to reference. While John was away on vacation, his coworkers continued working on the project. When he returned, he wanted to see all the changes that had been made, but he can't because he doesn't have a way to track the modifications. John is in trouble again. Additionally, clients or administrators lack precise control over the project. Moreover, it's important to consider the potential for a single point of failure. If the system crashes, the hard drive becomes damaged, and proper backups were not in place, John risks losing everything. Later in the project, if John needed to work with other developers at a remote location, this would prove difficult as the entire project is stored solely on his local machine. To address the issue, John began regularly versioning his project on his local machine, being wise by adding timestamps to each version. A local version control system, LVCS, is a database stored on your local computer that keeps track of changes to your files by storing each change as a patch, which is a set of differences from the previous version. The next major challenge that people face is the need to collaborate with other developers who are using different systems. To deal with this problem, centralized version control systems (CVCS) were developed. In CVCS, all the version files are stored on a single server, and clients can retrieve these files from that central location. In addition to the ability to track modification history and collaborate across different systems, CVCS also provide administrators with precise control over the project. However, the risk of a single point of failure still exists. If the central database's hard disk fails and no backups have been made, everything will be lost. The complete project history, except for any individual copies stored on local machines, to overcome the limitations of CVCS, distributed version control systems (DVCS) were created. In distributed version control systems, clients don't just retrieve the most recent version of the files. They replicate the entire repository, including all historical changes and information. If one server fails, another client's repository can be used to restore it, as every clone is a complete backup of all the data. DVCS can have multiple remote repositories, so that you can collaborate with different groups of people in different ways simultaneously within the same project. With DVCS, there is no risk of losing all project history due to a single failure. and it allows multiple people to work on the project simultaneously let us summarize everything we have learned in this video and answer our question what is git git is a type of dvcs that keeps track of changes made to a project's files by its collaborators allowing for nonlinear workflows and preserving data integrity